Chris, it's Brian. Kenny, how are you? I'm doing good, BK. How you doing? I'm doing well. I, guess I know you're watching these young players. <laughs> We're measuring everything now, right? I mean, we have great measurements for every single mm -hmm. thing on the field. Give me the measurements that work for you and maybe some things that you like to go beyond. When I'm watching these guys out here, I think all that we pretty much have access to, what they're putting up on the Jumbotron. We're watching the exit velos off the bat. We're watching the throwing arm speed. So guys out here, you can tell they're not throwing like they are in a game. They understand that they're at a showcase and they're trying to get their numbers as high as possible. Now, they're not worried as much about accuracy. They're just trying to show their ceilings and their skill sets. Okay, so when you're watching, how much are, is validating what you're seeing or that you, know, that you look beyond what you're seeing with the numbers and the measurements? I think what I'm seeing more out here is that you have all 30 teams here. And you're having these guys, they're trying to understand the character. You're trying to see how they move around their peers. So seeing everybody here on the same field, I understand these kids have been going to showcases all over the country. They played in a lot of big league stadium. They're very comfortable in this environment. But mm -hmm. when you get the guys in the same, on the same field, all at the same time, no matter what the numbers say, I'm going off of what I'm hearing off the bat. I'm going off of how they're moving around the field, how fluid they look. Mm -hmm. I'm not going off of just, okay, this guy can throw 100 miles an hour. It's great to see, don't get me wrong, but can they apply that skill set to the game and look more fluid and look more natural than everybody else on the field. So that's where the eye test comes into play, I think. What year did you get out of high school, Chris? 2001. I'm sorry, I didn't hear they were talking to me. What year? Two 2001. 2001. It's, not, it's a simple question. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you didn't know I was going to ask it. How different was it back then? <laughs> You know what? Back then, it just wasn't as much select ball. I played high school. I went to a couple of perfect game showcases, and that was pretty much it. That was the exposure that I got. We didn't have all the technology out. You weren't able to grade my arm strength. Yeah, you, you had guys out there with the radar gun from time to time, but very rarely were I out here. Was I out here running with lasers attached to me or being right. able to get exact numbers? Everybody was out here with just a stopwatch. Whatever the stopwatch said, that's what you're going by, mm -hmm. and you didn't have a lot of data on players, so they're really going off of what they're seeing with their eyes as far as the scouts go and if you go out there with your peers I had that one perfect game showcase that I went to and if I show up there maybe I get on somebody's radar and then they'll come to my high school and watch me play I didn't have access to be around all the top players in the country all at one time right I mean it's so drastically different was what I was wondering and it's not that long mm. ago 2001 not not all that long ago um, I know I saw some right. monster kids out there some kids throwing 100 miles an hour from the infield I saw some kids that look like like kids mm -hmm. in high school how could that be possible who got your attention <laughs> it's a it's a big player draft this year I'm seeing six five six seven every time I look left or right they're making me feel like the small guy out here but when I was watching the BP Kemp Alderman from the University of Mississippi I didn't see I'm not paying as much attention to you know potentially the top 10 picks I'm seeing who are the diamonds in the rough who are the ones that are coming to this combine to try to improve their stock and when I saw Kim Kemp Alt Alderman hit he showed if you're going into BB, BP, you don't want to just hit homers. You want to show that you're, gonna, you're a complete hitter. You're going to show your complete skill set. He was driving balls to right center. Not until the last round did he say, okay, I'm going to open it up and show the scouts that I also can hit the ball 450. But he's a guy during the season last year hitting the ball 115 plus miles per hour, has the potential to hit balls 450 feet. Oof. He can be the, one of the guys that we see hitting 35 to 40 homers one day. And then we also have, who else we have? We had. Uh, let me think. Cole Carrick, that's who it was. University, I mean, San Diego State. He came out here. A lot of attention wasn't on Cole Carrick. I know he's the 45-ranked prospect, but me and Harold, we were out in the outfield just hanging out, and then all of a sudden, we see this kid throw. Every other guy was throwing 90 miles an hour. Out of nowhere, 102 miles per hour wow. from the outfield. We first saw him at shortstop where he was throwing 100. He went behind the plate. We're seeing so many more players that are playing multiple positions. They're not just locking in on one position. They're moving all around the field and showing that they have have value all over the field and then you have George Walkout that really caught my attention he caught my attention because he's the youngest guy out here amongst the top 200 players and he's the youngest because he reclassified to become eligible for this year's draft he was potentially going to be a top pick for for next year's draft he moved up to reclassify to this year's draft 6'7 225 he saw us talking about Cole Carrick in the outfield he came out and threw 101 miles an hour from the outfield and when he stepped behind the plate he had that different sound 
around behind the bat, smacking balls all over the field. He's a big kid, but has a lot of control of his body, and I expect to see great things from him. I know, Chris. I, I think I saw that Kemp Alderman is his name. I saw that. I was just flipping, you know, back to us and mm-hmm. looking at. I was like, is that kid in high school? I'm glad you said he's in college. <laughs> I feel better. I was like, that guy. All right, good. Yeah, we'll see him soon. Chris, thank you very much. Talk to you soon.